Hi again, everyone. CBS 19 Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony. Right now, probably the warmest part of the entire night. The temperatures are only going to get colder and colder. And imagine how cold it is currently outside. The roads are snow packed. Every street around East Texas covered in snow. Tyler right now sits at 12 degrees with a northwest wind at 10 miles an hour. Longview likewise at 12 degrees. Nacogdoches at 13. Lufkins at 15. It is cold all over. Clouds radar animation shows the clouds clearing out. That will allow the temperature to drop and drop quickly. We got rid of one winter storm. Here's our next one. It's starting to take shape and it will dig into the southwestern part of the United States and it will head out in our direction tomorrow night and into Wednesday. But before it gets here, we have to deal with these bitter cold overnight lows tonight below zero in many locations. I think this is a generous prediction by this computer model here. It'll likely go between zero and five below Carthage, Henderson, Marshall, all being forecast to drop below zero. In fact, I think four or five below tonight. That'll be record cold with a north northwest wind at five miles an hour. And with those winds come bitter wind chills. These are dangerous. This is why we have wind chill advisories and wind chill warnings in effect throughout the area. So please, if you have to be outside for any length of time, limit it to less than 15 minutes. I mean, short duration spurts if you have to be out there. Future skycast tonight. Skies are clear. Temperatures are dropping. We'll have the winds out of the north and then tomorrow they're going to swing around to the southeast. Now you might think that's good, right? But no, here's why it's starting to bring moisture in from the Gulf of Mexico. We see that in the form of clouds with some Pacific moisture. Our temperatures are below freezing Wednesday afternoon, and so this is likely either sleet or freezing rain in the pink snow up to the north closer to the Red River, and it lasts until Wednesday afternoon, and then it finally gets out of here. We have a northeast wind again by Wednesday, and so the temperatures are not going to get above freezing. So if that is sleet or freezing rain, that's going to stick to at least the streets. All right, so forecast snow accumulation on Thursday. You're talking about an inch, maybe two inches from Interstate 20 northward. Forecast ice accumulations a little more concerning, especially in these areas where it's six tenths of an inch or more. Remember this, sleet pings, freezing rain clings. So sleet will bounce off of everything, settle on the ground. Freezing rain will stick to trees, power lines, and that can cause some major problems. I hope we don't have this situation develop here because we'll have plenty of power outages if that does. And if that shifts to the north just a little bit, we'd have widespread problems. So hopefully that is not how things uh, play out. Baylor Scott and White, Texas Spine and Joint Hospital, seven day forecast. Bitter cold warning down to five below the 19 for the high tomorrow. Wednesday, I'm going with a 90% chance for this freezing rain, sleet and snow mix. 22 in the morning, 26 only in the afternoon. We'll have another little area of sleet and snow Thursday morning with a 30% chance. And then we start to see some sunshine. Friday morning, though, is very cold down to nine. It's 32 Friday afternoon. We're into the lower 40s on Saturday, lower 50s with scattered showers Sunday and Monday up to 55 with warmer winds taking over. Don't forget to download our CBS 19 app and get up to date forecasts throughout the day by listening to one of our Alpha Media partners.